So quite a few of you are actually reaching into World Tier 3 and World Tier 4, and I've been doing Nightmare Dungeons for quite a bit of time at this point, uh, all the way since like level 58, 59 or so. And I want to give you some pieces of advice for these, as well as ones that I really want to run and some of the XP numbers that you can get for them. And as I said in the title, I've been able to quite easily get 30 million plus XP per hour in a group and 20 to 25 million XP per hour as a solo player in these Nightmare Dungeons, which has been really, really amazing so far. Now, the first one here, as shown behind me, is going to be Older's Cave. Older's Cave is going to be absolutely excellent um, for just blasting through essentially a straight line if you're solo. If you're in a group, what you can actually do is split up and have people run through the corridors on the sides. And if you're able to do it quickly, assuming you have like a rogue on your team, you can really, really generate a lot of additional XP because you can just cruise through one person going one down one lane, the other person kind of going around these side lanes and picking up all the additional XP. The key to this one is you want to reach the end because there's a slay all and it's really cl close quarters. So you can get a ton of XP from there. And this has been really excellent glyph XP and really excellent specifically so uh, a character XP, which has been really, really amazing. And if you were using my Nightmare Dungeon reset method, which is still in the game, um, despite us telling Blizzard, then you can actually just run the same Nightmare Sigil over and over again. So that's really, really nice. But of course, if you are a solo player, then you got to figure out which ones to run. Uh, you got to get all the sigils, right? So which ones are also good? Which ones am I looking for besides Older's Cave? Because that is the best. Well, there's three, including Older's Cave. Older's Clay Cave is my absolute favorite. You can see this one's a tier 40, um, which is really, really nice. And this one is a really, really solid one. You know, it doesn't really have too bad of negative affixes. And to be fair, that is what I mainly look for. Although this one is, it can be potentially a little bit dangerous because the death pulse can be really, really, really miserable. And perhaps I'll make a tier list of the affixes going forward, but I am looking for Older's Cave the most. The next best one is going to be the Surat's Layer. Another great one here. This one's a tier 30, a little low for me. Um, I could do tier 45s, tier 50s at this point and pretty easily farm them. If I'm in a group, I do tier 40s because obviously it scales up the HP and such. But tier 30 here for a Surat's Layer. Um, this one's really excellent because you get extra damage reduction for health missing. The Death Pulse is always scary for every build, but particularly the Rogues because we group them up or in the middle of them and uh, they can blow up on our faces, which is really, really rough. But then lastly, the third one that I'm really looking for is Mercy's Reach. Mercy's Reach is decently worse compared to the other two on this list because of the kind of distance and backtracking that you have to do. These two, you can kind of go through and snake your way through and just go through all the objectives in a single line, no backtracking. Same with Surat's Lair, you kind of go in, Go around the edges and then you'll have to enter in the middle but you can oftentimes just kill more monsters on your way through mercy's reach you actually have to go down corridors go through them come back a little bit so it is a little bit worse but well it's still in my opinion the third best option to farm and this one also a very very solid one not a huge fan of drifting shade but i do get extra 15 percent damage on my twisting blades which is really nice so those affixes are pretty nice but these are the best solo farms and group farms in the game at the current moment uh, in terms of just straight up XP. Again, you're really, really going to want to focus on Nightmare Dungeons in terms of level and what tier I've been going for. Well, actually, you can see I'm level 83. So it's no longer, you know, hey, you want to do minus 51 levels and get three levels above. You just have to remember that the best XP, assuming they don't change it tomorrow, which they might, or change it in the patch that's coming up, which they'll release tomorrow, which they might, um, you're going to want to look for as high as you can do, but keep the speed very quick. Speed very quick is the key. And if you're able to blast through it, specifically within the time that your wrathful heart explodes, uh, which is a really, really important one, which I'll go over my build video tomorrow. Well, that's going to be the ideal time, right? Take one that's going to be able to clear monster packs in about two seconds. And assuming you're able to clear those packs in two seconds, Wrathful Heart will explode and, and, and just nuke everyone. So that's kind of the ideal time, although that can get a little tricky for some people. So just keep that in mind. But that's pretty much the best XP farms in the game. 
focus on those ones don't run any other nightmare dungeons if you can avoid it if you can't you don't have a ton of sigil powder like i do then you know maybe move on to something else you can see i have eight thousand sigil powder right now which is pretty crazy so farm groups if you can because sigil powder is nasty with those you just get so much sigil powder so thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you all for tomorrow with my updated build video for the rogue